I'm here today to show you this awesome all new Saxdor 320 GTO. So I'm going to start off from the back of the boat and just show you all the awesome features this boat has back here. First thing you'll notice is the power on this. This is the biggest power option they do, which is the twin Mercury 300s. Out on test the other day, we were doing about 63, 64 mile an hour. Top end, performance is awesome. But the boat's also available with twin 225s, which will give very, very good performance, and even a single 300, which is achieving 40 knots. So as you see on the back of the boat, we've got huge platforms either side, full interrupt, uninterrupted boarding on each side. And as you can see, the platforms come really far back. So getting on and off the back of the boat should be relatively easy as well. It's a full walk around from one side to the other. And you've got some big chunky cleats on each side here. One of the features on this boat is this ghee bar. Now that's hidden nicely under this lid here stored in these clips on the underside of the lid and then just literally drop this into here and then there's a securing head that goes through which holds it in place so it's giving you a really good height for your, for your wakeboarding, skiing, pulling toys with and then obviously when you don't want to use it it just tucks away again and it's not in the way. Over on the starboard side there's a lid here that we lift up and then that hides a four-step stainless steel boarding ladder, which I'll show you in a moment from the other side of the boat. So at the back of the boat here, you can see this huge seating area that very comfortably seats four, facing forwards or backwards as a sun pad, the operation of which I'll show you in a moment. You've also got a, a transom safety door on each side, which has got the blue LED lighting around it. Also under the back of this seat, it lifts up to reveal a huge storage locker. So getting into the boat is very simple from the transom. It's just one step down, then you're in. Got plenty of headroom here, loads of space around this seat here. Again, you can quite easily anchor seat four people on each bench around the table. It's designed for when underway to have three facing forward there, three facing forward here, and then obviously the three facing forward at the helm, which we'll go into in a moment table on this drops down out of the way and then this backrest lifts back and you've got a huge sun lounger here as well. This table also extends out to give you a huge area for dining. So the table drops right the way down, locks into place and then this backrest flips over. So with the backrest all the way back it reveals a huge sun pad, which will very easily take three or even four people. You can also lie on it with ways. Under the back of the sun pad, there's a huge locker, which is one of many on the boat. So also under this back seat is the technical access hatch, which is accessible by pressing a lock button on here and an up button. So another great feature of this boat, and one of its many highlights, is the drop-down sides, which are fully electric. So as you can see, with the sides down on this boat, this area is massive. It just really opens up your boat to the experience. So you can have these now on the marina or when you're out at sea and it's safe to do so. So I'm now on the second row of seats in the boat. As you can see, it's a huge area. It's designed to have three people forward facing when the boat's underway, but the bench is, is huge. It also slides backwards and forwards on a track to one, give you more room when you're working around the wet bar and two, to give you more space on the table. Also under this back seat, there's a huge locker. You just tilt the uh, headrest forward and lift this up. It's massive. At the moment, we've got some fenders and some covers in there, but it's a great area for storage. So while we're talking about storage, with the seat facing backwards, you've got another huge locker in the floor here. So this is the wet bar unit fitted with the optional wet bar package. As you can see, we've got some cup holders, grab handles around it, 
really nice finished work surface. This lifts up and it reveals a sink. And then you've got uh, a burner on here, twin burner on here, and then a uh, chopping board for your food preparation. Also in here, storage in the drawers below. The wet bar package also comes with a fridge. And then there's also an optional additional fridge that can be fitted on the other side that matches it. So the inside of the T-top is finished with down lighters. And then obviously you've got the structure of the T-top here. It's got some really nice detailing in it here with the Saxonall logo, which is actually backlit when you have the uh, courtesy lights on. From the side decks, there's a small step down into the cockpit here. We have three forward spacing bucket seats, each of which has its own flip up bolster and each of which are adjustable backwards and forwards. Driver's seat, it's really comfortable. We've also got a raised foot rest, which I'll show you in a moment. As I say, you can slide it backwards and forwards. For convenience and comfort, you also have tilt steering and everything just feels like it's in the right position for driving. If you want to stand and drive, you flip up the bolster, lean the seat back to the position you want, and then you can brace yourself. Also under the seats, there's a huge cavity here for storage and your battery isolator switches are positioned conveniently there too. So up on the helm, obviously you can see you've got your really nicely finished Saxdor um, steering wheel. You've got the twin Mercury controls, which you can either use both together or stick it into the single lever operation and run both engines at once. It's all really nice, smooth, easy to use or fly-by-wire controls. To the right of it, we've got the trim tabs. This boat has got the upgraded automatic trim tabs, which is well worth getting. And then you've also got the, the side power bow thruster sat next to it. Over here, you can see the two uh, cup holders, which have got some nice touches with the LED lighting into them. And you've also got a uh, wireless phone charger where you just sit your, your phone in there. Above this, you've also got a nice little storage locker. Below here, you've got a grab handle for the passenger and a optional Simrad VHF radio. You've also got over here twin Simrad 12 inch displays um, and it also has the Mercury vessel view integrated into it. That's part of a package, which is an option, but you also get this uh, standalone Mercury vessel view unit um, a standard in addition to the Mercury uh, mobile app. Everything's controlled from this smart panel here, which is backlit and it has lights on, on the switches when they're operational. Kill cord is down here. So moving up into the bow on this boat is really easy. You've got nice, wide, deep side decks, but plenty to hold on to. On the way through, you've got um, cleats, a long grab heart handle along here, and you've also got down the sides of the boat, the removable fender eyes. Obviously, you can see there's plenty of glazing above here, which gives light into the cabin, which I'll show you in a moment. Right. As you can see, the space at the front of the boat, again, is huge. The grab handles are easily accessible for the passengers at the front here. You can easily get two people up here. You've also got integrated cup holders into the side. Also underneath this uh, sun pad, you've got, you can remove your cushions and you've got two skylights. Obviously, uh, loads of light into the cabin, but also allow loads of fresh air through and also doubles up as a fire emergency exit. In the front of this boat is an absolutely huge anchor locker. It's optional to have a catapult bow windlass, which this boat isn't fitted with. So let's now go into the cabin and take a look. So down in the cabin, the first thing you'll notice is how much space there is and how light it is. There's loads of natural light coming in from these overhead panels here, glass panels, and then there's lots of glazing on each side of the boat as well. But you've also got the blinds that come down to give you the privacy right the way around. Over here, we've got a vanity changing area, and also we've got a door here that opens up with your full control panel for all your electrical systems. Over to this side, you've got the main head unit for the optional Fusion Stereo, which can also be um, operated off your phone or on the dashboard. And over here, you can see we've got 
a massive double bed, which I'll go into more detail with in a moment. As you can see, I'm sat on the bed here, leaning back, still loads of headroom to sit up and get changed, you know, for two people here, in addition to the extra seat there. This boat, boat's got the mattress topper on it as well for sleeping on, and underneath reveals the same matching upholstery as we have on the seat here. You've got uh, individual reading lights on this boat, uh, in addition to the overall overhead lighting. As you can see up here, there's absolutely stacks of space in the bed. It easily sleeps two people, probably even three. And um, you're not feeling claustrophobic in here. There's lots of light coming through. And I've got the, uh, the windows open, which I showed you a moment ago. But when these are closed, you've got a, a blind that comes over as well. Or if you want to leave it, stop the flies coming in. You've got a fly sheet on here too. So it just gives you plenty of ventilation into this boat. There's also a storage shelf each side of the bed and there's even a USB charging point for your phone. We've got a good size locker, which have got uh, three shelves in there. There's also a storage shelf above it. But one of the really smart um, features on this boat is the loo. So this door opens up and it can be left open so you have a lot more space in the cabin. So sat on the seat over the toilet at the moment, you can see there's absolutely stacks of room in here, loads of headroom. When the door's shut, there's loads of space in here as well. You've also got a sink in here when you go for the fresh water package. You've got a locker in here too. And there's also a mirror. So you've got, as I said, the seat that goes over the top of the loo, which folds up out of the way when not in use. And we've got a control panel here for the electric toilet. For more information on this awesome all new Saxdor 320 GTO or anything else in the Saxdor range, please do give us a call 01758 783 013. Send us an email, sales at idealboat.com, or visit our website, idealboat.com. Thank you for watching.